Hello, I'm glad you made it back to check out my newest video. My name is Brian and I have a glorious 2019 3.0T, the VR30 twin turbo motor V6 uh, Infinity Q50S. Um, so what I'm going to dive in today is discussion of uh, intakes. You've got two types of, of intakes, which just call it that. You have an open filter and then you have a closed, closed in filter, like closed in in an air box um, for this VR30 um, 3.0T. A lot of people are buying uh, intakes and that's okay. I bought one. Um, I think they have their benefits. And uh, I just want to touch base and make a video. Um, I pulled some data and I think, I mean, I love data. Um, so if you don't like to review data, um, and this is mostly numbers and data and reading my writing information. So um, you may want to just ignore this video, but if you are into data and want to see the results, um, big results, small results, whatever it is, then, uh, then check this out. Um, so here we go. Okay, so what I did, um, I was working in this area uh, on my emblem, and so I had removed what the uh, Nissan or Infinity calls the air duct or some people call it a shield. Uh, I had that removed to get to my emblem. So uh, I thought it would just be a great time and it's starting to warm up here. So I had the, the shield removed and I thought of conducting the test with my Ecutech dongle so I could monitor the data. So uh, I did two runs with the uh, air, air duct installed, uh, same route, um, same distance traveled, air conditioner was on set on low. Um, just left it in the auto shift. Um, I was driving easy, dri uh, driving easy slightly under the speed limit and wasn't in a, any big hurry just going up the street to drop off uh, some information to uh, a business. And then I took the same route for, uh, for the same one and two and then the three and four runs and they were all performed within 30 minutes. It was 92 degrees outside and it was around 2 p.m. All right, so here's what the Infinity VR30 motor looks like with the shield, the, uh, the air duct shield in place. And then I took the photo of it off the car and it will show the uh, air boxes, my AMS air boxes right there. And then what that shield does is it allows uh, fresh air to be uh, brought in from the front of the car and it directly injects it into the closed air box. So um, there you go. First, we're gonna look at the open filter data. Okay, here is the uh, raw data and it has parameters, charge air, and a lot of different air temperatures. Um, this is run, run one and run two. All right, here we have the actual data that, um, that I collected from run one and run two. The next data that I collected is from one, run three and run four. Um, these are just short little video clips to show you uh, how I collected it and what the information looks like. So, all right, so here's the information. It is the, uh, from the radiator temp, the charge air coolant temp, the oil temp, and the intake air temp, and the coolant temp. And just to get to the point, run one and run two, um, no air duct cover uh, installed. And general driving, the uh, run one was 124.5 degrees, and run two intake air temp was 125.8. Compared to run three and run four, run three was intake air temp 114, 114.42, uh, and run four was 114.93. So um, you can see that run three and four were, were definitely cooler. Okay, so now we're going to get to what all this means. So basically, uh, you know, with the open air boxes and the closed uh, air box option, obviously the closed air box op option is going to provide the most cool air. Um, in, in the situation when you're, you're not moving, it's going to be sucking the colder air from the front of the car uh, outside of the grill. And so it's going to, your intake air temps are going to stay cooler. Uh, versus having just open air boxes in the engine bay, which is most likely going to be pulling the most of the air 
uh, in from the uh, superheated uh, engine bay. So uh, it's an obvious clear winner that the, uh, the air filters that are taking the air from in front of the car are going to be a huge benefit. So someone will say, well, you know, the difference, you know, when I'm racing, I'm on the cars moving, but you know, a lot of times you, when you, when you start out racing, your car has been sitting uh, for a while, or it's been idling, you know, for a couple of minutes and it's going to build up um, high uh, intake temperatures just in the initial of your launch. So you've got a 130 degree motor uh, versus 115 degree, uh, you know, intake air. Um, so, you know, you're starting off automatically with a pretty good advantage. Uh, and then it comes down to also uh, that my air boxes are, are, are still kind of enclosed, even with that, uh, the front air duct removed. So um, if it would even compound the numbers by, I'm thinking another at least 10 degrees higher uh, intake temperatures, and that's just on this 92 degree day, which it really wasn't that hot. So when it's 105 degrees out and it's probably, you know, 75% humidity and it's going to be, it's going to compound um, your, uh, you know, your initial air that's going in to be compressed. And so the car is going to really have to work a lot harder initially um, to uh, not reduce timing and uh, pull power from the car. So I think it's just a huge, huge benefit. And, you know, when I see people that buy these open, you know, there's a couple of different brands and I've got them represented here in, in some different photos, you know, just such a huge disadvantage. Um, so uh, obviously I'm just kind of, you know, in the thinking that you, uh, it's, a, it's the bigger benefit to go with the uh, closed air boxes that feed um, initially on the, you know, the stock, uh, intake system that infinity infinity developed um, that's your best bet so um, there you go you have the numbers you, uh, you you can see the numbers and and calculate themselves and then here at the end I've just got my little scratch sheet where I had all these numbers written down and then that helped me to calculate everything so if you found some video informative thank you uh, for tuning in um, if you liked it and it was helpful or it will be helpful or you're getting an infinity down the road and you're going to be getting the bug to mod the car. Um, so this will help, help you to make maybe a more informed decision. Yes, the, uh, the AMS uh, intake is more expensive than some, but there's even some open air filters that are $400, $500 uh, from the popular brands. So um, just make a wise decision, whatever you do, um, you know, if it just makes you happy, then go ahead and buy it because it makes you happy. But for, for serious performance, I would obviously stick with the stock airbox configuration or the AMS uh, airbox uh, kit. Okay, thank you and have a great night.